Today's video topic is gluten intolerance. Gluten is a protein found in wheat, rye, and barley. It's what gives bread its chewy texture and helps it to rise. Gluten intolerance is when a person experiences bad symptoms after eating foods containing gluten. It is very important to note that gluten intolerance is different from celiac disease. Celiac disease is when the body sees gluten as a threat and tries to fight it with an immune response. Celiac disease is caused by an abnormal gene, and it can cause damage to the intestines. But gluten intolerance, on the other hand, is not that serious. But still till now, it is not known exactly what causes it. Symptoms of Gluten Intolerance For people with gluten intolerance, eating gluten can cause a range of symptoms including abdominal pain, bloating, diarrhea, and constipation. People with gluten intolerance may also experience fatigue, anxiety, headache, and brain fog. As for the diagnosis of gluten intolerance, there is no specific clear signs for gluten intolerance. So, doctors diagnose gluten intolerance by eliminating other diseases. For example, the doctor will request certain blood tests and may sometimes do a biopsy to make sure that the patient doesn't have other similar diseases like celiac disease or wheat allergy. If the patient doesn't have celiac disease or other similar conditions but still has gluten intolerance symptoms, then the patient likely has gluten intolerance. Treatment There is no treatment or cure for gluten intolerance, but a gluten-free diet can help to manage symptoms. This diet eliminates all foods that contain gluten, including bread, pasta, cereal, and baked goods. Also, some canned goods, spices, and sauces contain gluten so it is important to read labels before consuming these foods. There are a variety of gluten-free products available on the market, and many restaurants now offer gluten-free options. But still, consuming gluten won't lead to serious or life-threatening symptoms. And also, there is a certain amount of gluten-containing foods you can eat per day without experiencing symptoms. This amount differs from one person to another. But usually, the more gluten you eat, the higher the chance you'll experience symptoms. If you think you may have gluten intolerance, it is important to see a doctor for a diagnosis. In most cases, once gluten is removed from your diet, your symptoms will typically improve within a few weeks. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.